Hey YouTube, Dustin Ryder here. Welcome to my review for Machine Set Thy Care Major episode 31. So this was a pretty harmless filler. I would say this is one of the the few like handful of episodes in Care Major that was more useless, meaning it didn't really contribute a whole lot to the plot or any character development. There's been a couple that haven't, but for the most part, most Care Major episodes usually contribute something, and this felt like one of the few more just kind of useless fillers, but I thought it was an enjoyable and fun premise, kind of a harmless episode, uh, kind of a, a little bit of a, a trope that happens in Toku and other shows too, where the characters are shrunk down. So you have Juru and Tomateo, who are showing up at the base and like everyone else is at work, uh, we're gonna go out and face this threat on our, this threat on our own now, because we're not even gonna call King Ordin, because they decide not to call, uh, you know, Grateful Phoenix unless it's a big threat. It's really funny because like they're like, let's not call the men, let's just use the regular Mecha for a big threat, and they end up having to call him in at the end of the episode because it's pivotal. But anyway, they go out on their own and Karamajin and Giga and Driller, and the monster of the week like has the power to shrink them, and it's really funny how he does it because he like pinches them on his screen like a cell phone, and they shrink down and they realize they're shrunk down with a, a cat that's their, their size, and the shrunken versions of the Zords are the toys. Like a lot of this episode was honestly kind of smart marketing to try to sell the toys because you would need the miniatures anyway for the premise of the episode, and you have the toys there, and they even have a part where he combines them later, and it's kind of a smart way to sell the toys, and kind of reminds me of back when Saban used to use, like, the Morphers, and then the Zords for, like, the Ninja and the Shogun Ultra Zords, which was kind of funny. But this kid ends up finding him, or them, and taking them home, and you have the sequence of him playing with them, and, like, the sequence where he sets up, like, a fake city or, or an environment or whatever, and it's kind of funny and entertaining to watch, both, like, because it's kind of almost meta in a way of like the way kids might play with the Sentai Mecha, but also some of the reactions from the Mecha. And then he discovers how to transform them, and it goes through like Land Mage, and then Main Mecha, and Gigant Driller, and he gives them their own names, and it's just kind of this funny meta moment. I thought it was pretty clever. It was like Sentai Toy Story, and again, like this episode wasn't the most valuable to the show overall, but I found it to be entertaining just because the premise was kind of funny, and then especially the way they integrated like the toy marketing. And then the other four are out there looking for him eventually, the other rangers, and before the uh, the shrunken rangers try to get back to the others, Drew becomes kind of interested in why this kid uh, is upset sometimes, and it turns out it's because he doesn't like his mom being away and having to be at the house alone, and he needs to tell her about that. So there's kind of like a nice moment that this all leads up to at the end where they give him the courage to tell his mom how he's feeling, and they have kind of a nice moment. So there's kind of a little bit of heart in the episode with that, and it's also funny because then after that he's like, okay, you need to take us to our friends, and He's like running from his mom trying to get these kids to the friends and uh, it doesn't end up happening until the robot starts talking. Uh, but they get back to the base and Juru gets seen as a little tiny, a little tiny lad and he gets them to make the Kiro Forgo Arrow big so that they can summon Giga, uh, yeah, Phoenix, that's not it, uh, Grateful Phoenix so that they can defeat the monster since they're still shrunk and then they get fixed and like I said, the end of the episode is the nice moment with the boy and his mom. But again, this was a pretty harmless episode, not too major, it's kind of one of those ones you could probably skip and not really gonna, you know, miss anything in the series but I thought it was kind of a fun premise, and yet again, like I said, uh, I think the way that they integrated the toys in it was kind of was kind of funny, and there was lots of funny moments because of that, and kind of a nice little moment between the, the little boy and his mom and stuff like that. So yeah, overall, an enjoyable and harmless, if not a bit of a useless filler episode, I would give it a 7. But that's it for this one. This is a short one this week, guys. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can just for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.